Have you ever wondered how Santa's bag holds all the gifts for the entire world? Well, seems impossible, I know, but today, prepare to have your mind blown as we dive deep into the real world of physics and the enchanting principles that make Santa's legendary gift delivery system not just magical, but surprisingly scientific. So let's step inside the workshop, tighten up your mittens, and take a closer look how the most mysterious bag in the world truly works. The first secret, dimensional compression. Now here's where things get interesting. Most people imagine Santa's bag as a giant sack with unlimited space, but the truth is it's more advanced than any suitcase, backpack, or moving van known to man. At the North Pole, we use a principle called dimensional compression. Think of it like folding space, turning a three-dimensional object into a thin little sliver and storing it in a pocket dimension. It keeps every gift perfectly preserved, neatly stored, and ready to be retrieved. So yes, the brand new bike, those dolls, games, puzzles, and electronics, they're all full size, just temporarily tucked away in a dimensional snow globe inside the bag. All right, but what good is storage if I have to dig around like I'm searching for my glasses? Well, that's where our quantum retrieval system comes in. Every present in my bag is tagged with a magical identifier, kind of like a GPS tracker mixed with a Christmas wish. So when I reach into my bag, I don't have to rummage or search. The exact gift I need rises right into my hand instantly. Imagine if you could do that with your lost socks, your remote control, or that phone charger that always disappears at the worst time. Now you've heard of the naughty or nice list, but what you might not know is how it works behind the scenes. It isn't a scroll anymore, though it looks like one. It's a living, breathing system powered by kindness, compassion, and good-hearted actions. Kids and adults alike all over the world update it just by the choices they make. This list syncs directly to the bag. So when I arrive at a home, the bag already knows who lives there, what they wish for, and which gift belongs to which child. Now all of this magic and science takes power. A lot of power. But the North Pole doesn't run on coal or gasoline or electricity. It runs on something far stronger. Joy, generosity, wonder, belief. When people share kindness, when families come together, when a child whispers a Christmas wish with a hope in their heart, the bag becomes stronger, the sleigh becomes faster, and the world becomes just a little brighter. You see, the bag isn't just a magical artifact. It's where two worlds meet, the world of imagination and the world of possibility. We combine physics, quantum theory, dimensional engineering, and that little spark of Christmas enchantment that scientists still can't quite measure. That combination allows the bag to do what no human invention ever could, carry the hopes and dreams of the entire world in one single humble little bag. So the next time you see Santa's bag on a shelf, in a picture, or fluttering behind me as I hop off the sleigh, remember this, it's not just a bag of toys. It's a reminder of what becomes possible when wonder meets imagination when science meets mystery, and when the spirit of Christmas is alive in the hearts of people everywhere. And if you keep believing, keep giving, and keep spreading kindness wherever you go, the magic inside that bag will never run out. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. If you've enjoyed this peek behind the curtains of Christmas, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, until next time, this world could use a little kindness. So be kind to one another. And as always, keep Christmas in your heart year-round.